Okay, we're descending back into the abyss. So in the last episode, we uh, fought Madrik out here and uh, he asked us to go around and ring um, some bells. <laughs> and oddly enough, I actually went back and watched the footage just because I was like, do I know where those are? And after watching the footage, I'm actually pretty sure I do know where they are, so. Oh. Well, that complicates things. <laughs> I was going to use those portals, damn it. Because <laughs> I was watching the footage, I was like, okay, I know that I could probably get to two of those locations through those portals, but, well, okay. That's going to complicate things. Well, I guess, at the very least, we'll walk in here and, uh... Oh. Here we are, the Grand Library. I may have to look around for a while, but there must be something in here that about the Serpent Halls. That's about the Serpent Halls, I'm believing he's trying to say. I hope the missing Essence Gem is here as well. After all, none of the portals in the Conjuration Classroom can function without the Abyss Gem slotted into the chart. Yeah, hopefully we can find something along those lines. We'll just see. Okay, there's a little portal here. Uh, well, there's two portals. At least. Whoa. Okay, actually, I didn't even notice any of this. Holy shit. Can I go down there? I mean, I guess I could. Holy crap. Or maybe, oh wait, there's a note here. Or maybe these teleporters take us down to those levels. Hold on, let's just read what this says first. Mankind has, long, lo, mankind has long sought ways to control the four elements of the Earth. Pretty sure I've read this before. Yes, I have. That's about the element of metal. Yeah, we've read that before. Okay, this does kind of teleport us around. That makes sense. This is so fucking cool, though. Can we just, can we just point out how fucking cool this area is? And how chill and peaceful it is? Okay, multiple teleporters now. Um... The real question is where, what takes us to where? I kind of figured that would take us over here because I mean, I kind of noticed these things. May as well grab all the Mystic Ambits that we can. I also appreciate how much he's using the Mystic Ambits, which I think are normally a multiplayer only kind of item, but, oh, here's about the Lizard Men. Uh, the Lizard Men of Kronos and Abbott, all bogs and unwholesome locations of the world. Very little is known about this race aside from their barbaric society and taboo cultural cannibalism. Jeez. What little contact humanity at large has with the Lizardmen has come in the form of shaky alliances and trade deals between the farm communities that border the next to the great swamps. Physically, they look very much like humans. If they evolved from common swamp lizards, they even sport the same dimorphism as humans do. It's strange, this is, this is strange for a reptilian species that would have little need for this dimorphism. Perhaps there may be an alchemical experiment set loose. Maybe. Whatever their origins may be, only Lizardmen would know, and they're not keen on telling us about any of it. That's fascinating knowledge. Too bad nobody else in the world's gonna ever know about it. So long, forbidden knowledge. <laughs> gods within the multiverse. Well, gods in the multiverse are unknown, and academics frequently question if they are truly our gods at all. It is thought that many of these gods are simply powerful entities from the lower and upper planes that the mortal worships as gods. This hypothesis is true as we believe it is. That means no celestial or fiend who claims to be a god truly is. Interesting. These claimants are merely using mortals in whichever way they see fit through this illusion of divinity. But most of my instances illusion be the red dragon god that is worshipped by the red dragon church. Red dragons are one of the types of chromatic dragons that Nebaraz created that suggests that the red dragon god is connected to Nebaraz and his layer of hell. Until, f until further notice, there is no reason to worship these gods as the divine, for it is inconclusive any of them are truly as they claim. Well, I think that's some knowledge we should actually hang on to, <laughs> just in case. Anyway, hold on, let me grab this, there we go. Before we do though, I want to see if I can find any uh, questing items around here. Alright, so, let's see. Now we're up in the higher levels. Okay, there's a gear over there. I think I do need to grab that. Oh! Okay, all of these seem important. <gasps> At last, I've got what I'm looking for. These notes say that the location of the Serpent Hall is in the Lost God's Mountain. Some, same place where the Dark Crucible once was. Oh, interesting. This won't be easy because a contingent of Korax's horde resides in those mountains. I'll go right away, but I first need to ring the astral right. Yeah. We gotta take care of that bell situation first. Alright. Just a provident. I mean, hang on. Instead of these three minutes in the direction of Korax, I've been enslaved and bound to the service for more. Now I need to instruct the Korax as a bondage. Right. Yep. Uh, Argo, uh, the Dark Crucible and the Serpent Hall's origins, I'll tell you about this also as I'm, after I record this, but looks like I can't read this note. And that's unfortunate, because it seems to be an important one. 
Thankfully, uh, it looks like we already know what our quest is. And yeah, that one's flashing, so that one's important. Okay, so we have the purple puzzle gem and the silver and brass gear. But I'm wondering if there's any other gears around this beautiful and wondrous place that uh, we may need to grab onto. I would probably say no. All I'm really seeing is the mystic ambits around here. So, let's see if we can get ourselves back home. That's the real question. All right, that's where we just, that's where we were. <laughs> I'm going in circles here, I'm sorry. Let's try it this way. Okay, this, this seems to be a new area. Thank God. Whew. <laughs> we made it out of there. It's a bit of a maze, but we're fine. We're good. Okay. Um, all right. So we have these two items. Let's go around and start ringing those bells. Okay. We do have some open portals over here, thankfully. So maybe this will lead us into the right area. All right. I know where three of them are, at least. Oh. Well, this is the only one. I <laughs> this is actually the only one I didn't know where it was. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, shit! Okay, hang on. Hold on! Okay, time in. <laughs> the power of the sun compels you, foul demon from hell. Oh, man. God, I love this weapon. Oh. Have I been in here before? I don't think so. This is quite fascinating. And there's Mystic Urns in here, so okay. What's in there? Something very special is in there. That we're not allowed to get right now, apparently. I don't think I've really been in here before. I don't think. This is pretty new. Friendless dormitory is entry prohibited unless during break or sleep hours. Jeez. You cannot go to your bed unless it's time to go to bed. Thus saith... Why is this corridor undefended? It leads straight into the main gate and castle courtyard. Fair question. <gasps> oh, god damn it. That explains the quiet, yes. Certainly does, doesn't it? You death wyvern dickhead. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. What was that? Also, I thought this was like that outside area that I went to before, but oh, that's nice to have. But I don't think it is. I think this is a completely different area. Oh, perfect. Alright, that's two down. It seems to have lowered a wall that I cannot see from here. <laughs> the power of the Invoker. Um, all right, let me just see. We need to get back over to those... I heard that. I heard that. Oh, that's right, the serpent's in here. Right, well, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I have I have no beef with you. If you don't have any beef with me, I don't have any beef with you. I do need to heal a little bit, though. There we go. Okay, um... Let me just somehow make my way... Just back in that area we were in before. <gasps> This room guards the northwestern bell tower from intruders. Unfortunately for me, I am now an intruder, so the trap will be sprung. Oh, shit. Um, what's the trap? Is the trap gonna be instant death? Slow and painful death? Oh, God. Oh. That's not that bad. Oh, are you the serpents I was just saying I wasn't gonna kill? I'm sorry. I apologize in advance for killing you. Okay. Okay, we just got... Okay. Fair enough. Last one. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's just go ahead. Yeah, yeah, don't eat me, please. Thank you. Oh. Okay, and then there's a... Uh-huh, okay. I see that gets us out of here, at the very least. At least we can get out this way. Okay. Anyway, trying to get back to where we were. That is the primary uh, 
quest, as far as I'm concerned. Well, now, the real question, of course... Alright, um, I know another one that was in this belt. Oh, right, of course, yes. You suck! Alright. <laughs> I know one of them was around here. If I can get up to... There was that bell tower not too far from here. Oh, also, I never noticed that. Hang on, let me, let me... Craters are always nice. Anyway, um... Uh, I don't know if that's where I'm gonna be. But there is a tower. All right, let me see. Oh, oh, I think it's actually in this direction. Hang on. It actually may very well be in this direction. I don't know for sure. No, it's not quite here. It may be down there, actually. Remember I was, like, trying to figure out that one... Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is actually where we need to be. Okay. I think we're close. I think this is the last one, too. Ring that one, we ring that one, we ring that... Yeah, this should be the last one. Pretty sure. I can hear it. Yes! Beautiful. No. The Sun Staff didn't quite kill you that time. It's not, it's not a flawless weapon. Alright. So now I've done that. Oh, that's not where I need to go. That is, let's just reload that, because we do not need to go in that portal. Alright, so now that we have our two other items here, the real question is finding that actual area I need to go to, which, if I remember correctly, so many bright maps not found. Okay, that's not gonna help. Okay. Pretty sure that's where we need to go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. I'm gonna try to go back over here. But now that we've unlocked all that abyss, um, I am kind of curious about those portals. Of course, I need to try to remember how to get to those portals, which was I think over there okay so I'm right there okay I think I can get to that yeah I'm gonna go down this way this is back in there that's right and then wait a minute actually I think it is in this hallway isn't it okay cool is it this one? Not exactly. <gasps> Aha! Right, right, I remember now. Right, okay. The portals have opened. Alright, now the real question, of course, is which one to go into. I guess we could try this one first. No? No. No. Nope. No. Oh, right. You know. <laughs> there we go. The portal's been activated. <laughs> you know, the one missing piece to the whole thing. Hope this damn crown worth, is worth all the trouble. I don't care what Madrid says. I shall succeed and use it for good, regardless if it's infernal or not. Indeed. Oh. It is as you suspected. The warlocks were unable to keep the doomed one at bay. It is only a matter of time before he reaches the mountains, and subsequently the halls. I suggest we do our best to contain him. We'll keep him preoccupied for as long as we can, my lord. Hmm. Do not presume to command me, you fool. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to those Whoa. of you that would question my authority. If there is one who sees to the decisions here, it is me, and me alone. Well, goddamn, Despero. Or are there still any who would oppose me? No, I thought not. You're all too weak to 
to be able to withstand the amount of power I can conjure. Yes, Sparrow. We shall do as you command. Good. You know your place. Perhaps I won't have to kill you all. Anyway, on to the matter at hand. The mortal is indeed walking the path that the faceless one set him on. Soon his plans will be put into motion. Regardless of what consequences might come from this union of powers, the faceless one is destined to fail. However, it is not yet time to treat blows directly with that insufferable double. <laughs> we have to find a way into his domain first. Unless we take care of his minion first, so his plan can never come to fruition. That's where you all come in. You must stop the mortal. So better him when we must. Stop the him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the him! What is that even supposed to mean, you cat? Oh, get out, you bothersome creature! <laughs> As I was saying, stop that foolish human. Doubtlessly, you know failure entails. <laughs> Do we have an understanding? Excellent. Warlock set up a trap for the mortal at the portal to the courtyard. <laughs> As you command. <laughs> Perhaps I can even convince the mortal to abandon this quest when the time comes. Hey, Act Two, finally. Okay, <laughs> I just want to acknowledge a couple things. I'm pretty sure the sparrow is voiced by uh, my friend Seth. Uh, I also think, uh, thinking further back, uh, Madrik, I think, was voiced by Crazy Commando, who you may know is, is one of my viewers who writes in the comments. Um, yeah, those are the voices that I know so far. And then, I mean, I've heard Argo throughout this, and I'm pretty sure Argo was in that cutscene back there a few times. Uh, and then there's the whole Stop the Him thing. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, alright, I mean, we're at about 17 minutes, but, uh, let's just get a little baseline of where we are here and just... You know, get our bearings. Okay, we're clearly in another abyssal type of area. So that's just lovely. Ugh, okay, yes, don't touch the abyss. That probably goes without saying. Water's fine. The abyss is not. Okay. Oh, hi there, friend. Mm, okay. That's a cool little effect. The particles. Appreciate that. Okay, so. I'm seeing a lot of areas that we could reach uh, if we climb, but whether or not we can actually climb from where we are currently is a whole other story. Um, so we have to do a little bit of exploring here. Let me go back up where we were. Maybe the answer lies up here somewhere. Uh. What happened? There was a big boom. I, I I heard a boom. A boom happened. I can at least jump across here. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Don't slip off the rocks. Okay. <laughs> that is how I feel about that gear. Okay, and another one of these puzzles? Yep, indeed. Okay. We're going to find ourselves another planet and another gear. Well, that seems simple enough. Maybe two planets. Okay, fair enough. I hear that. Oh, hi, there you are. Yeah. Fine, you stay up there, dick. Can we go in here? No, we cannot. Okay, yes, yeah, so very clearly we need the gear to open the door. We need to come back here and plug in those planets. Oh, oh, duh. Not you guys. Not you guys. Thankfully, the holy magics I wield are... Oh, God. Nope, nope. Hold, hold on. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves a little bit there. Hi there. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, this could prove to be... 
Oh god, I don't have enough mana for that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> there. There was my one mana that I used for that. Oh god. Enough with the pelting me with the fireballs. Okay. Whew. Let's see. Got some areas here that look like they can be opened if I do something. Um, what that something is, I don't know. Also, I see portals up there. Quite interesting. I'll try to take out those guys, potentially. Alright. It's better than nothing. Also, I may be able to climb up here from the looks of it. Or maybe not. Oh. There's this whole area. One thing the Invoker doesn't really have is a uh, Ripper type of weapon that goes through enemies. But that's okay. He can heal himself. Well, I think I'm getting somewhere here. Let me just make sure there wasn't anything back there that I missed. Uh, there's a little pathway over here. Hang on. Let's see if there's any little goodies or items over here. Oh. This takes us somewhere. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, God. That hurts a lot. How many of these do I have? I have two. Well. Let me just use that in the meantime. Oh, would you look at that? Have ourselves a clock gear. I think I can be a little more precise here. There we go, got rid of that dickhead. What about you? Okay, beautiful. Okay, well we have a clock gear. That sends us in a good direction. Um, can I pull this back down? Yeah. Now, does this... It does! Okay, perfect. Excellent. Yeah, we don't need to waste our uh, our craters just yet. I think we should save that for absolute emergencies when we need all of our mana right fucking now. And that is not this situation. We are not quite in such dire straits. Okay. Well, uh, it's been about 22 minutes, so I think in the next episode we're going to plug in this clock gear and see where potentially this room takes us. I'm assuming that's what that does, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Descent into the Abyss. Alright, later.